What we tried to do was to understand what is really the risk of transmitting the virus from an HIV-positive person who is on antiviral treatment and the viral load is completely undetectably yes. low. What is the risk of transmitting the virus to an HIV-negative uh, uh, sexual partner? Mm -hmm. um, and of course, everybody is interested in, in getting an, an answer to that question. Right, yeah. uh, so, but so we, we uh, in large, uh, created a large uh, study group, uh, 75 clinics, uh, identified couples where the one is positive on treatment, well suppressed, mm -hmm. the negative is negative, and they were saying, well, we actually don't use condoms. As part of our routine sort of way of doing life, we're not using condoms. And were these uh, straight as well as heterosexual as well as homosexual? So we, for this uh, analysis, we are reporting on 750 couples, mm -hmm. of which uh, close to 300 of, the, of them were, were MSM couples, mm -hmm. and the, red, the rest was uh, heterosexual couples. So it's a mixture of homosexuals and heterosexual sex we're mm -hmm. studying. So what were some of the results, and what was the timeline of the study, and what were the results of So, So we, we studied them uh, over uh, one and a half years. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> And we asked them, so if you actually continue not to use condoms, how many times do you actually have uh, sex together? And that came up actually to 44,000 uh, sex acts, uh, where they were together, the positive and the negative, and was uh, not using a condom. Was there a difference between the uh, homosexual, heterosexual couples? Is how many times? A little bit more for, for homosexuals, but it was around, uh, it was actually around, the number is around 45 sex acts per year. Okay. And, and of course, it had antiviral treatment not worked, we, we know from historical data and from previous studies that we would have seen at least 50 and probably 100 mm -hmm. uh, people seroconvert or get infected. Uh, so, 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 so had it not worked, then we would have seen a lot of action. So, um, but the study, the main finding is that during this extensive period where there was a lot of chances of transmission between the two people right. in that relationship, we actually did not see any. And that was true, of course, for heterosexuals uh, and MSN. So, and so people were continually virally suppressed during that time period? That was the condition for the analysis. Uh, so we are following uh, people also when they are uh, biologically rebounding, but we're not taking that uh, follow-up. So those account. were excluded if, yep. if they were in the study that yep. they weren't considered? So, so this is essentially for those who can relate to the Swiss statement that was discussed in 2008, right. uh, which was uh, sort of articulated that if the HIV positive person is on treatment is fully suppressed, then he is essentially functionally non-infectious. So, 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 but we, rather than having that discussion, we felt it was more important to actually put some data to that statement. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is the first result from that effort. Uh, but, the, but you also studied that the statistical analysis of the study does not mean there's a zero percent possibility of... Exactly. Uh, that's, that really comes down to what I think everybody can imagine, that had we only studied one couple for, for one week, we would maybe have seen no transmissions, right, but, yeah. but the, the ground to say that on would be very weak. So of course, the, the more people we study and the longer we study them, the more certain we are about that there is actually no, in reality, no chance of transmission. And this, is, this can be expressed based on the data we have so far. Um, the overall result is uh, that at the moment we cannot exclude the possibility uh, uh, that uh, there would be one in 25 couples over a 10-year period, mm -hmm. uh, one of those couples you would actually see a, a transmission. It is to continue the study, generate more experience, mm -hmm. make sure and understand whether there is really indeed no link transmissions, uh, and get much more uh, sex acts into the study mm -hmm. in order to finesse our position and therefore reduce uh, this number uh, mm -hmm. closer and closer.
did STDIs play a role? Did, did you would think that would influence the outcome? Because we're all taught that even with undetectable viral load, that the risk of transmission with STIs is higher because of you know, trauma or... So the data on that is that uh, in those who is positive, uh, around 16% in the MSM couples uh, contracted a sexually transmitted infection mm -hmm. during follow-up. Um, uh, again, we, we did not see any transmissions. Uh, so that doesn't necessarily exclude uh, the, the possibility that uh, contracting sexually transmitted infection may actually generate to a high instance because of the issue we had before that we really want to make sure uh, that we have precise estimates. So uh, I think at, as the study unfolds, we'll get better and better understanding about what is actually the risk if you actually contract a sexual transmitted infection? Is that really something that is bad as long as your HIV viral load is well suppressed? Um, you know, is it really something where you say, wow, this is, this is now a different situation? Or is it actually good enough yeah. uh, to have the virus completely under control? I guess the final lesson to this is that it's not like we're not telling people to go out and if there's a mixed zero status couple that one, you know, to no. not use condoms. There's just uh, not absolutely enough information. No, that, that's, uh, that's not the point of the study, and that's certainly not our recommendations. We actually recommend them even within relationships to, to continue using condoms. Right. But certainly, if you go out and have sex with other people, uh, you need to really use a condom uh, if you're HIV negative because uh, the, the chance of getting an infection is real.